Before we get started with this video, I just want to let you guys know that Throttle actually released the mobile app for iOS today. All you got to do is open up the App Store, type in Throttle, and you'll see the app pop up. Go ahead and download it. Super easy. Just log in using your Facebook credentials or whatever username and password, and you're good to go. Uh, this has been requested for a super long time, and it makes it super easy to get involved with Throttle and start listing, posting, selling, buying, whatever. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and check out the link below for the desktop version. Make sure you guys use the KM240 promo code upon logging in and you guys will get the hookup. Promise you guys will love it. Also, at the end of this video, I will be announcing the giveaway winners for the throttle banners. It's been long overdue, sorry about it. I've had the sinus congestion, so I've been a little bit kind of off the video game, so I'm back on it though. A Little bit still stuffy, but I'm back on my game, so make sure you guys stay tuned for the winners. So I can't take it anymore. Today is going to be the day that I finally start to dive into replacing, well I guess finally isn't the right word, it hasn't been occurring for too too long. A couple, well two videos or so ago I talked how my rear brake caliper has locked up on this side. You guys can kind of see it's not even wearing into the, the rotor. And if we come look on this side, you know, normal normal looking so this one came to conclusion obviously is seized i was able to source a couple new well not new they're actually pretty crusty and, and rusty and they were also seized <laughs> this morning i actually just kind of well last night i soaked them up in some pb blaster and um, this morning i just went ahead and actually they cracked loose i just took a pair of vice grips to them and spun the piston you guys also remember i couldn't get one of the lug nuts off because this the stud was actually popped out of the wheel bearing so uh, I might have to go ahead and drill through it today. Uh, let's test our luck though. It, might, it may have seeded itself. And um, you know, we'll see if we can get it off with a, with a wrench. Let me let you guys witness this glorious sound that we're, that we're experiencing here, ready? I really think the only way to get it off is to drill through it, so. Haha, <laughs> I got her. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, that's it. That's it right there. Oh, this is just good. This is just good. Back to four lug. Four to, or five to four lug swap right quick. What you guys know about that? Yep. Wow, you want to know something really funny? I was about to reuse these ones, but I just remembered I have new ones. Somehow I forgot. Ow. Oh yeah. If you guys are interested in some rotors for your S13 or S14, I'll have both links in the description. Go ahead and pick it up. I'll have an Amazon link for you guys. Um, that's where I got these from. Great price. Look at that. Now I, I know that, you know, this one's not warped. So if we did everything right, you guys can see I can move this still. That's because it's everything all tight. That's just because the piston itself hasn't brought itself up to the actual caliper or to the rotor. Excuse me. So I guess the good news is we got rid of the noise. The bad news is we still have no rear brake. Now I'm not really sure what's going on. I popped the bleeder screw and nothing came out. It doesn't even seem like it's building pressure inside that caliper itself. So honestly, it just seems like the caliper is just toast itself as well. So. The only issue is I can't rip any handies anymore. That wheel will lock, this wheel won't. So, yeah, yeah, we'll have to figure something out.
Oh yeah. So I've been driving the car now for a few days and I've noticed that my brake pedal has a bit of air in the system. I guess I should say my brake system has some air in it. Um, basically that just came from when I took off the caliper, put the new one on, some fluid came out of the line. So basically in that rubber leader line in the back, there's a bit of air. So I'm usually by myself, so I figured this would be a good time to show you guys how to use one of these uh, Harbor Freight vacuum pumps. This was about $25. As you guys can see, I have it all put together. Um, super easy assembly. You know, the only thing you guys want to make sure you have is that hose that goes down into the actual bottle itself. That way, when you release the pump, it doesn't actually suck back air, it just sucks fluid back in. Got the pump set up here, and uh, first time for me using one of these things, so I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with some fluid, and uh, let's give it a shot. doesn't work with uh, just these calipers, you know what I mean? Because I'm obviously holding pressure, I'm like 23 pounds holding it, nothing's coming out. The, the bleeder is uh, cracked open, wide open, and uh, it's just not sucking it through. So, uh, yeah. So uh, luckily enough, I was able to just pump the brake pedal a few times and actually get all the air out of that line. By doing that, I didn't think I would, but obviously with that little bucket of, of fluid right there, it doesn't allow it so you can suck back air to the system. And I was watching that little hose in the center there, and I saw all the air come out, and now it's just a steady stream. So even though that's still locked up, I believe, I mean, maybe it's, I can't wobble it as much, so maybe I, I have the brake back, but we'll see when we uh, get it back on the road. But next time we have a, a chance to try it out, we'll, we'll definitely give it a shot. So as you guys can see, we have a, a few lights not working. We're going to see if we just need the bulbs. So I'm pretty sure I know why they're not working. So underneath the dash, it looks like there was, or a de well, definitely has been one or two previous remote start or something alarm installs. And there is just uh, just a spaghetti of wiring under there. Everything's fine, like ignition wise works good, but I think they must have chopped the uh, the um, the corner, the parking lights, uh, whatever you want to call them, because that's that's one of the wires you tap into, you know, for your locks, you know, so they flash when you oh, unlock your car, whatever. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened. It's probably just disconnected because the actual, um, you know, bulb holder itself isn't seeing any power. I'm not really too stressed about it, so I'm not going to dive in yet. Next thing on the list for this thing is uh, see why this key cylinder isn't allowing me to actually unlock and lock it from this side. Only that side is working. So we'll take, take the door panel off and uh, dive in. So honestly, I was expecting to find like one of those rods to be either out of a hook because in the whole mechanism, there's a bunch of rods that they all connect to each other. It's a, it's a whole crazy little setup, but I thought I would find something like that, but it doesn't seem like anything is dislodged or disconnected. I'm thinking that maybe the, the whole little key, key cylinder itself might be from a different car. I'm not too sure because it looks like nothing was touched. The door is original. You could tell by the bolts they haven't been touched. And um, yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know, it is what it is, so for now that's fine, but on to the next thing. I 
don't know who the jackass was that put this oil filter on. But, uh, I'm currently having to, uh, puncture it with a screwdriver. You guys can't really see it. And, uh, use that as a, as like a handle. So, yeah, good times. So, uh, yeah, just a few punctures there. That was probably the hardest oil filter I've ever taken off. I didn't even put it on that tight when I put it on. I don't understand. Alright, so it's been like three days since I've been outside. I've had a, a little sinus infection, I guess you could say. So, haven't been able to really make any content for you guys. So, I'm sorry for the wait, but hopefully I should be able to get it back in the swing of things here. Um, so continuing on today, God, it's cold. I did not miss the cold weather. But I've been lining some things up that are going to be pretty awesome uh, for the springtime. Some pretty sweet car reviews, guys. Like some pretty insane cars, I'm telling you. So definitely stay tuned, guys. Um, but uh, a few videos ago, someone actually requested that I go ahead and be a rice or thing. That's what they said. And uh, and go ahead and paint. Go ahead and paint the valve cover here on the the trusty KA because yeah it's not pretty and you know what why not might as well it looks a little bit rough so uh, we'll give her a nice quick coat of paint So this uh, came out of nowhere. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but it's actually come down quite, quite good right now. So. So there we have it. I guess it, it looks better. Definitely looks nice, you know, cleaner, but now I feel, I feel like everything else needs a clean. I could go ahead and file the rest of the letters down, but we'll do that another day. It's freezing. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Uh, actually, we have some parts coming in for the 240 here. Well, obviously, both of them are too, but for the S13, we have some parts coming in. So in the next week or so, we should see some parts coming in, some, some, some body stuff. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, and I'll most likely catch you guys in the KAT build video tomorrow. See you later.